Hi everyone, Joe for jazpeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Tops Inception Baseball 16 box pick your team number 12 from jazpeescasebreaks.com Fumbling the list here a little bit, but there we go. A 12 box, I thought I fixed that. Oh, I, didn't, I just didn't reprint it. All right. 16 box, pick your team number 12. On the 24th, thanks everyone here for getting to the action. Jeff with that double last spot mojo. Cardinals don't have autographs, so we didn't sell them, but they do have some base cards. If we pull any of that, even if it's a one-of-one one base card, we'll randomize it to one person in the break. We'll re-randomize everybody's names, or randomize everybody's names. All right. Good luck, everybody. All right, so we've got eight boxes on the left side, eight boxes on the right side to make a full 16. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Break schedule in the chat. We are full for the night, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you. But if you still want to lock in your orders for tomorrow's Gypsy Queen, you can and you should. Jazpeescasebreaks.com on that. Of course, all cards ship here. There's Nolan Arenado to 75 for the Rockies. And behind Dylan Cease is Williams Astudio, 20 out of 99, who I learned on, uh, who I learned on, I, I had a baseball draft on Sunday, Sunday morning, who I learned that has he has catcher eligibility in my league. I didn't realize that, I thought he was more of an infielder. But yeah, he's a catcher first baseman. I always thought of him as that. Kind of a utility guy, man. So, you learn something new every day. Jeff with the Twins, last spot mojo. Matthew Stubblefield needs a little fish. No, I've not seen a book either, right? I think, did Jason do one over the, over the last couple days, one or two of these? I don't think I've seen a book. All right. Jordan Yamamoto for Matthew and the Marlins to 150. There's Mike Trout and a Vlad Guerrero Jr. 18 out of 75. Nice. Bluebirds, Richard Zitterman with the Blue Jays. <laughs> there you go. Grant's backing you up. Do you guys are you guys buddies or or is Grant just uh cheering cheering for the Marlins here? Do they? Does everyone forget that Shorber was a catcher? All right. Behind Zach Collins is John Duplantier, 156 out of 245. Nicholas Galvin with the Snakes. Oh, I got Okay, okay. So the Grant, Matt, Jake, Anderson crew. All right. All right. Welcome, guys. All right, next box. Good luck. There's a plate on top there, and that is, it looks like an Oakland A. There it is. That's going to be Sheldon Yusey. One of one for the A's. Nicholas Galvin. Nick. Uh, as you know, out of fives and under, get the old train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. Oh, there's a cardinal. So that oh, these two cardinals will represent the cardinals cards. And there's Aristides Aquino to ninety nine. 
There's a big masher right here for Grant. Grant in the Reds. There you go, Grant. There you go. Grant's fired up. Nice. Yeah, that guy, that guy, that guy can hit a little bit. As he showed last year. Your first one of one, Nick Galvin. Nice. Wish there was ink on it, but it's not bad for your first one of one. Sorry, Jake Rogers, for dropping the card there out of 50. These cards are pretty sturdy, though. We got a little spongy mat right here to help prevent any damage. It's Travis Demery. Tiara Estrada to 249. 203 out of 249. That goes to the Yankees. That's going to be for Evan Levine. All right. Next box. Good luck. Other things I learned from my baseball draft on Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so our my league has minor league spots. There's Paul Goldschmidt to 150. We have minor league spots, so I wanted to uh, draft. It's an auction league, so I wanted to draft Wander Franco, right? There's Manny Machado, and he reveals a nice Brian Reynolds. 29 out of 245. There you go. Pirates. Corey. There you go, Corey. Corey's been waiting for this one. On the board. So we went ahead, went ahead and uh, nominated Wander Franco, drafted Wander Franco, paid for Wander Franco, and I was like, boom! I got, I got old Wander Franco shortstop for the Tampa Bay Rays in my minor league spot in my keeper league. I put him in the minor league spot, keeper league. You know, maybe he maybe he comes up for a cup of coffee this year, but could could be in the league next ne by by next season. Thought it was great. Thought I was such a smart guy. Turns out there's a Wander Franco on the Giants. That's the Wander Franco I got. There's Sean Murphy to 75. Oakland A's, Nicholas Galvin with that one. So be careful when you're drafting, ladies and gentlemen. And if both Wander Francos are available in your roster pool, in your player pool, Remember, there's a Tampa Bay Wander Franco and there's a San Francisco Wander Franco. All right, there's Sheldon Nusi again. Travis Demery to 99. Two Wander Francos. And there's another Aquino to 75 for Grant. It's going to be a nightmare when, when Victor Mesa and Victor Victor Mesa end up in the player pool. Uh, ooh, Ryan Hack needs a Yelich. All right, we'll try to find one of those. We'll try to find a Yelly in here. Are there three? Their dad is Wander Franco? I, wow. Well... There was no confusion with his father. His father was not in my fantasy baseball player pool. <laughs> so I, I avoided that. No Dodgers yet, Alfred. Maybe here? No. Wow. Grant Fusel. Look at that. An excellent patch. And he's got a nice auto too. Some good penmanship there. You got that's out of ninety, and you got a patch like that. 
Wow. Your buddy Jake Anderson not happy. He's saying go home. Wow. Excellent patch. Good penmanship. Nice one. Yeah, what are the odds of two Wander Francos, Rex? That's what I thought too. So I saw Wander Franco in, the, in my player pool in my fantasy draft, and I just clicked on him and didn't even think about it. I only realized it when I was just kind of looking up his stats and stuff, and I was like, wait a second. Because I think Giants Wander Franco <laughs> is like, is a little bit older, I think. Anyway, yeah, the, oh, they're actually brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're fought. Okay, yeah. So this is the whole Victor Mesa, Victor, Victor Mesa situation all over again. So I got Wander Franco's brother, who's a third base prospect in the Giants, or although he's released in the Giants organization. We got Trent Grisham, 13 out of 25. Gold ink autograph for the Brewers. Not the yellow you were looking for, Ryan Hack, but a nice hit. These are usually one per case. Sometimes we've seen two. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy, the numbering is a little odd this year. I'm not out of 99, but out of 90. All right, next one. Also, this I did not know. I'm looking at Wander Franco, older Wander Franco, 25-year-old Wander Franco. His brother is uh, is 19. That's the Tampa Bay Rays one. That's like the somewhat consensus number one prospect at the moment in baseball. But Wander Franco is the son of Wander Franco, brother of Wander Franco, Brother of nephew, oh, who, Wander Franco's dad, his brother's Willie Ibar. And father of Eric Ibar. There's Michael By So there, there's a lot of, lot of family, family, baseball family history in that crew there. Whoa, really? That I did not hear. TJ. TJ saying Thor's having Tommy John. There's Logan Allen. It's 245. Hi, Jeremy S. Yeah, we're holding up out here. And yeah, maybe it's like, like George Foreman naming all his kids George. Just confusing. What do you do when you're yelling at your kids? George! Three kids turn around. Logan Allen goes to Ricky Boyd and the Indians. Wow, MLB put it on the inset today, Thor. Tommy John. But as as Jeremy thirty three is saying, different Jeremy is saying, yeah, it could be a blessing in disguise with the with kind of a shortened season. There's Mauricio Dubon to ninety nine. Yeah, it could be could just be a weird baseball year. I wonder how many players that's going to happen to. There's Jake Rogers. Hold on, follow me here for a second. There's Dylan Cease, White Sox, two-color patch and autograph, five out of ten. It goes to Brian Allen in the White Sox. Like, maybe if... Maybe if Noah Syndergaard maybe could have gone through the entire season without Tommy John. Like, there's a possibility. I mean, most pitchers by now are going to have some sort of tear in their... They're UCL, right? But not all require surgery or not immediately. But I wonder if there are if there is gonna be more instances of, of of organization saying, Hey, you know, this is gonna be a weird season. You've got a weird tear in there in the first place. This could it could go at any time. Why not just handle it now where there's gonna be a shortened season and let's just put you on the shelf for next year? I could see some some teams doing that. 
There's Yelich to 150. I could see some teams going like, hey, I know it's not that bad, but eventually it's going to need surgery. Why not just do it this year in this kind of weird year? And it will come back. Ooh, nice patch, nice autograph, Justice Sheffield. 76 out of 148. That'll be for Evan Levine and the M's. All right, Chris Sale getting the, you know, maybe if it was a regular season, maybe they maybe Chris Sale kind of grinds it out this year. But now that they've got sort of a weird year happening, they're just like, hey, don't worry about this year. I don't know the Sheffield story. I want to say they're not the children of Gary Sheffield. I feel like maybe Gary Sheffield's brother or something like that. Maybe maybe nephews. Or maybe that's just completely wrong. Otani MVP says TJ. That's true. Short year. Otani gets to hit and pitch. It's pretty valuable. There's Paul Goldschmidt. Cousins, right, maybe? There's Tom Eshelman to 50. Right, yeah, I don't think they're the direct spawn of, of Gary Sheffield. But I think maybe they're, they're nephews of Gary Sheffield. Right, we do. We have uh, Jordan Sheffield's brother, or Justice Sheffield's brother, Jordan Sheffield, is in the Dodgers organization. Tom Eshelman will go to Jesse and the O's. John, the you, don't think they'll, you don't think we'll have a baseball season this year? Um, it's possible, but I feel like we're more apt to have NBA. I'm worried about, but I think they can they can make uh, I think they can make baseball work. There's Walker Bueller to ninety nine. There's Otani. Uh, yeah, I may put a couple bucks on him as MVP. And Pete Alonzo, nice. Second year Pete Alonzo. 006 out of 155. Two color patch and autograph. That will be for the Metropolitans. That's going to go to Chris DeHart with the Mets. Oh, yeah, the season will certainly be short. That, that I think we're all expecting. But I think they could get in. I think they could make it work. But I think I think there's definitely some concerns about basketball, though. Obviously, it being such a, a much more of a contact sport. Uh, there's Zach Gallon to twenty-five. That'll be for Nicholas Galvin and the Diamondbacks. Tony Gonsolin. And your final autograph is going to be a twin, Williams Astudio. I think we started with Williams Astudio and we end it with Williams Astudio. That's another one for Jeff Peace and the Twins. So there you have it, boys and girls. Inception Baseball in the books. We got some of those Cardinals cards. No, we gotta we gotta send to somebody. So let's go back to the list right here. So everyone from Nicholas down to Evan and everyone in between gets a shot at it. Not that blank spot right there. Let's roll it and randomize it. Name on top after nine. We'll get the extra Cardinals cards. The cards cards. Eight and ninth and final time. After nine, we got Evan. Evan on top with the extra Cardinals cards. There you go, Evan. Thanks very much, everyone. That was Picker Team 12, 13. Picker Team 13 is in the store right now. Check it out, and we should be able to break that tomorrow. We are booked for the night tonight, but buy your teams now. I'm sure we'll break that tomorrow. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.